hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family today we're doing a q and a <laughs> questions on both YouTube and Instagram. I'm going to start with YouTube. What do you think should be done to improve the mental health system in this country? I hope you mean in the UK. In my opinion, I think we should get rid of all the different teams and just have one team that has specialists within it. Because we have the eating disorder team, psychosis, early intervention psychosis team, what other teams are there? Crisis teams, community mental health teams, complex care teams. It's just too much. If we had one team that worked well, we'd treat a lot more people than they are currently. And honestly, how it is at the minute is I need a drink. But yeah, if we had one team that works really well, a lot more people would be treated and they'd have better outcomes than they do currently. That's just my opinion now. Take it with a pinch of salt, because that's never going to happen. Next question is, when you were growing up, did you have a pet duck? I wish. Now, when I was growing up, we lived with my grandparents until I was seven. We had a dog. I had a hamster called Meg. Two G's because it's cool. My little Meg, my little baby hamster. That's my first hamster. The Russian dwarf. I wish I had a duck though. My family wouldn't get a duck now though. So, who am I kidding? When I get my own place, I'm gonna get a dog. I would get a duck, but there's I can't afford a house. So I can't afford a back garden to have a pond. Good thing you asked. I am sort of obsessed with ducks. I have a duck, I have a duck army from Christmas, my Christmas advent calendar. I have a duck ca calendar. Ducks are my special interest. Now I'm going to go on to Instagram. So the first one is, does having a platform revolving around your mental health keep you in your mental illness more than if you didn't? So that's a good question. Making mental health content does keep me in mental illness a lot. And a lot of the time it's what I'm thinking about because I'm thinking about making new videos. But I have to think of topics and I can only talk about topics that I relate to and have been through. I couldn't make a video on schizophrenia because I don't know enough about it. So, to a point, yeah, it does keep me in mental health. It doesn't stop me from progressing in my mental health recovery. So, it does and it doesn't. It's a good question, though. Next question is, are there any skills you gain from therapy that you use regularly to manage your mental health? A lot of the skills that I do, I've learned from watching YouTube videos and from researching myself online. I've done DBT twice, I've done CBT three times to art therapy and I'm waiting to do trauma therapy. Any therapy I've done has been co teaching coping skills. There is one I guess that I've learned from CBT, or was it DBT? One of the therapies <laughs> is TIP, which I'll put on screen what that is. It's a distress tolerance skill. T is for temperature. I is for intense ex exercise. P is for pace breathing and P is for prepared muscle relaxation. And what I do when I do this is you get a bowl of ice cold water and you dunk your face in it for as long as you can. And when you come back out you probably going to feel more regulated. Now, I did used to have a video with that on. I don't know if it's still up. It might be one of the ones I had to take down. If it is, I'll link it in the description down below. And if it's not, well, I'll delete the bit of me saying it out of that. I have a lot of self-help books. So I've learned a lot through self-help books. I'll link a few self-help books in the description down below because they are helpful. The next question is, do you think the police need more training in dealing with mental health and autism? Yes, I do. Because they are as involved as they are, they should have to go through a basic level of training to deal with mental health conditions. I'm not saying they should be experts on different types of mental illness because it's not their job. 
And I think people forget that mental health is not part of their job description. They turn up when the NHS fails. Now I'm not anti-NHS, don't get me wrong, they saved my life. But I do think the police need more training on mental illness and autism. I remember once I was trying to unstimulate un myself. I was trying to deal with how I was feeling, which meant I needed to pace about. I got put in handcuffs and leg restraints because I wouldn't stay still. So police need to not use as much force, I think. I've been handcuffed more times than I care to mention for, do for just being me, which is a pain because I talk with my hands. And when they're behind your back, it's a bit hard to talk with your hands. So yeah, I do think the police need more training. But I think we also need to remember that dealing with mental health is not part of their job description. Next, we've got what, what are your favourite fidget toys? I also have one there, hooked on my remote holder. I got this one last week. It's purple. I like tangles and fidget cubes. Fidget cubes are my jam. I'm not going to get one out though because I'd have to go into my box of distractions and it's quite full in there. <laughs> I had a dream last night that I snapped my laptop in half just because I'm getting a new laptop. What kind of messed up way is that? I could literally sell that laptop. Yeah, they're my favourite fidget toys. But my, I do like tangles. I, I, I always have a tangle on me. When I don't, it, I get really distressed. I, I hate having anything to do with my hands. Like when I have my camera on me, I, I always fiddle with the buttons. Because <laughs> on my camera there's this little joystick thing and I play with it. No idea what it does, but... I play with that. <laughs> but, 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 but when I start to fidget with things that I don't know what they do, it gets bad. <laughs> so tangles are a lifesaver. Tangle, tangle, tangle. I've also started a new scrapbook. Next question. Do you ever look back at your video, old videos? If so, how does that make you feel? I don't really watch back my old videos. But over time, I have deleted some of my old videos. I don't think it's a hard one. I watch back like, some of my old videos for memory's sake. Like the videos with Becca. And um, videos of me and Kyle, I watch. Because I genuinely miss them. Because I wish me and Becca were still in contact with each other. Me and Kyle still talk, but it's not the same. So I watch back the old videos and I just laugh. But as for mental health videos, I don't look back, ever. If I remake a video, I delete the old one. And the final question is harm your leg or arm? Well, I don't self harm anymore. I haven't in over a year and a month. But I used to self harm on my arms. There, yeah, if you can. Oh no, if you can see. Well, I don't self harm anymore, so can't really answer the question. But I've never self harmed on my leg. Never ever. I've self harmed on my neck. 
glass and stuff on and more suicide attempt. Anyway, besides the point. <laughs> Mine is coke is flat. Ugh. I still drink it, but. Ugh. Time to open a new bottle, I think. Ugh. But yeah, that's the three answers to your questions. If you have any more questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll do part three of a big q &A. I don't know what that was, but... Little dance. Little spin. You just spin my hair right now, right now, when you go down, 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 down. yeah thank you for watching and if you're new like at the beginning subscribe join the growing family turn notifications on so you never miss a video and i will see you guys later with a new video on friday i upload days on monday and friday and i might do live streams on wednesdays damn I'm working on that part still yeah peace